So there are two groups of hyoid muscles. There are the suprahyoid muscles above the hyoid bone and the infrahyoid muscles, which are below the hyoid bone. In the suprahyoid group, there's the digastric, which has anterior and a posterior belly. Um, the mylohyoid, which is going side to side and it's making up the floor of the mouth. The stylohyoid, connected to the styloid process of the temporal bone and the genohyoid, um, which is going front to back. So all of these muscles will elevate the hyoid because they're above the hyoid, so they are synergists to each other. But also the um, anterior belly of the digastric can work to depress the mandible so because it depresses the mandible, um, it's an antagonist to the masseter and the temporalis, which you might remember are the muscles of mastication, which elevate the mandible. Moving on to the infrahyoid muscles, there's the omohyoid, um, omo means shoulder, and the omohyoid has a superior belly and an inferior belly. The sternohyoid, from sternum to hyoid. Then the sternothyroid, um, because this little butterfly shaped guy in the neck is the thyroid gland, so it's not directly connected to the hyoid. And then the thyrohyoid. Um, and the sternothyroid and thyrohyoid are sort of connected to each other. So even though the sternothyroid isn't directly connected to the hyoid bone. It's connected to the thyrohyoid, which is connected to the hyoid bone, um, making it therefore, that's why it's one of the infrahyoid muscles, even though it's not connected directly. So all of these muscles, um, will depress the hyoid bone. So they're all synergists to each other, but they are antagonists to the suprahyoid bone, which elevates the hyoid. So that wraps it up for the hyoid group. Have a good day and have fun studying.